Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Dr. Franck Cadet, internist and infectious disease specialist, who is also the owner of your favorite telehealth clinic, the Cadet Solution for the Body and Soul. And I'm here to give you updates on the uh, different options to treat uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, patients, outpatients. Um, as you know, COVID-19 uh, has not gone away completely. We still have uh, thousands of cases on a daily basis in the United States. And um, I typically refer patients with uh, um, COVID-19 to uh, the emergency if they have the following uh, symptoms, such as uh, shortness of breath with very low oxygen. It's very important to know that if uh, you cannot breathe and your oxygen level is low, you got to go. Uh, especially if you start having uh, bluish lips, you got to go. If you cannot uh, talk, like as I'm talking to you, my breathing is, is, is way up, you got to go. If you cannot breathe while you're resting, you got to go. And um, if you just watching TV or you interacting with your friends and you can't hardly do that, you got to go. And if, if your oxygen level is uh, less than 90 percent, uh, even regardless of your shortness of breath, you got to go. All right. And um, if you also have a problem, uh, uh, not just problem breathing, but if you have problem uh, thinking, if you have confusion, if you have changed in your behavior and you have uh, difficulty being aroused or, or the sign and symptoms of uh, hypoperfusion, meaning that the uh, oxygen going into your body, your brain, uh, such as if you fall, if you have low blood pressure, if your lips are blue, if you're having chest pain, all of those things are signs that you got to go. All right? And... Um, uh, now, if you don't have those symptoms, let's say that uh, you have a little bit of shortness of breath, a little bit of uh, headache, a little bit of um, uh, taste problems, uh, those you can actually uh, take care of yourself at home. Uh, but you still need to see a physician because they might be able to prescribe you something. They might be able to help you in terms of uh, um, medications available uh, outpatient, such as the uh, remdesivir, that's an IV actually, uh, they can give that to you for three days. And uh, we have also have options such as uh, Paxlovid and Molnupiravir. Uh, but that's for patients that have very little shortness of breath, uh, and they don't have high risk factors. Um, actually, they may have uh, uh, risk factors. Uh, let's say that they have diabetes or they um, have cancer or they have um, stroke or heart attack. Those are patients actually that can benefit from the outpatient uh, uh, treatment uh, that uh, knowing that understanding that uh they not uh they, they don't have a severe shortness of breath so if your breathing is not so bad you have a little bit of headache a little bit of fever uh you can be treated uh at home uh you just have to notify your uh, doctor your provider and you can be treated at home but if you have severe shortness of breath very um low oxygen you got to go. You got to go to the hospital. So basically, a good assessment will really help. But keep in mind that, again, those medications that we just mentioned can actually help. The um, remdesivir IV for three days that we talk about, the uh, Paxlovid from Pfizer, uh, but you have to give that uh, within five days, and then the malnupiravir uh, from Merck, uh, that we talk about, but you have to receive those uh, medication actually uh, within five days. Five days of having symptoms, 
you can receive those medications. So again, remember Paxlovid, aka uh, Nilmatrelvir and Ritonavir. You can, uh, they, they've been authorized to be used outpatient. Also, Molnupiravir uh, has been authorized to be used outpatient. So the Paxlovid, even um, young people can use that. If you 12 and above, you are eligible for Paxlovid, uh, providing that you have um, risk factors that, that can land you in the hospital. So if you're diabetic, if you have uh, heart problems, if you have cancer, you need to be on those medication even if you're at home, okay? And then we mentioned molnupiravir. The molnupiravir for Merck is not as effective as the Paxlovid. It's about 30% effective. Uh, uh, so you will have 30% chance of um, not going to the hospital by using this medication. So it's really important that you consider uh, those medication. Now, unfortunately, with this sotrovimab that we were using for the Omicron uh, variant, with the BA2 that's now coming in the U.S., the, uh, it is not effective against the new variant, the BA2. Keep that in mind. All right, this is it. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, share it and uh, subscribe and smash on that like button and um, everybody will benefit from that. Thank you so much for your attention and um, I wish you a very happy Easter and remember that Jesus is the reason for the season. That's because he is reason. Peace.